Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're going to do a uh, Pisces super moon full moon message. I should kind of arrange it some sort of way, but you get the gist of it, right? Uh, I'm excited that you're here. We're going to do a message just for you during this time. So if you get this around the 30th and 31st of August, perfect time, guys, perfect time. Okay. So do watch it, send it to uh, others uh, for, you know, who might be a fellow uh, uh, Torian, you know, so to speak. All right. So let's take a look and see what messages come out for you. I'm going to pull six cards for you and we're going to explore that Piscean energy during this full moon time. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this being a super moon, it's a pretty powerful, uh, biggest and brightest moon that is, uh, happening here. We had a, a previous super moon in Aquarius at the beginning of this month, but, uh, let's take a look. What's at the bottom of the deck? What do we have? Ah, the eight of moons. Uh, wow. You know, this is an opportunity for change. So this is about, maybe there's some sort of disappointment, but you're balancing something out right now and you are developing the inner strength to now move forward and take outside action. This is what I'm getting, chariot energy. So that's cancer energy. And this is about using the moon phases to make that happen, okay? So you may have had some sort of disappointment, but you are developing that inner strength with the Leo lion energy. Uh, and this is your underlying energy uh, right now that this is now taking outside action and having faith and moving forward. So this is your underlying energy. We're gonna take a look at a few areas that is, this is a full moon um, read and spread for yourself, okay? So um, what we're gonna focus in on, um, I put my spread here so I just wouldn't forget it here. Uh, so do we have, um, here we go. All right, let me just pull it up. Oh my gosh, here we go, here it goes. Okay, so um, I wanna focus in on exactly on how to, how these lunar cycles are gonna help you recharge recalibrate and to be able to move forward all right uh, especially with that being your underlying energy it's the perfect time to uh, honor what you have achieved thus far up to this point okay uh, the 30th and 31st of August here and it's now about also releasing what is no longer working for you as well okay so this is your personal message during this time now what I get in terms of what are the dreams that have come into consciousness uh, within the last six months? And I get the four of moons. And this is about uh, within your dreams, it's allowed you to contemplate a lot, okay? Uh, you have done a lot of thinking, okay? And, and now it's about grabbing the emotions that you want uh, rather than the emotions that you don't want, than the disappointment and heartbreak. So I feel that you've been contemplating about heartbreak in some sort of way. Maybe you've just experienced that, uh, you know, in some way, shape or form. Three of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, but I do get the Five of Wands and the Five of Wands talks about uh, maybe there's been some sort of disagreement and strife in, in some sort of heartbreak that you've been contemplating. Um, but like I said, I get the, the chair, it's coming out again. It's coming out right now. It's about taking outside action now. It's your time right now. It's like you, your dreams um, that have come into consciousness in the last six months were to remind you that heartbreak um, you know, the heart, the, you're, you're contemplating the heartbreak that brought obstacles to you. Uh, but now that you are developing inner strength in order to take outside action and to move forward, cherry energy, it's cancer. All right. And this is movement forward with the Knight of Swords. And this is, uh, you know, you're, you're moving forward quite fast is what I'm getting. Uh, and you are shifting the energies with the Queen of Wands. So, you know, this contemplation, it, it, what, what, it, it, what it allowed you to do, what it brought up into consciousness is how you can shift the energy of the negativity to positivity and use that to propel you uh, in terms of moving forward. All right. And, um, and, and just going towards optimism of what you want in love um, and life, you know, so to speak. But let's take a look. Anything more? Yeah, you've got the magician energy. This is about manifesting. It's it's kind of taking those uh, you know previous energies and 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 vision on you know kind of visualizing what you want and to create what you want to see in this uh, earthly plane. You've got all the tools necessary. Uh, could be done with the Gemini as well. But the magician is manifesting what you want, and this is the perfect powerful time uh, to connect with the energy of the full moon in Pisces to be able to do that. All right. Uh, so what else do we get? Star card, uh, a renewal, right? This is happiness. Is it's, it's a total renewal, guys, that is happening here. So I feel that this is a beautiful opportunity for you to make some sort of change, all right? I feel that, you know, the, the star card is, is about a being in a peaceful, uh, loving phase in your life, Taurus. 
uh, it, it, it focuses on getting you know balance uh, in some sort of way uh, but it is also an opportunity for you to be real and be true to you it's divine pure loving energy so I feel that no matter what throws your way that you know that you're always connected to that divine uh, love energy and uh, you're, you're full of, of, of faith uh, your soul's being uplifted okay your soul's being uplifted and uh, you are uh, having this pure loving energy. You have this new sense of self, Taurus, is what I'm getting from the cards. Note your comments below, but that's what I'm getting. And you're following your true north, okay? And uh, you're just in, in such appreciation of your core being, right? And getting to that point is such an honorable stage. So, you know, really pat yourself on the back for this, guys, really. Um, there's been significant personal uh, development growth and now you're ready to receive the blessings of the universe uh, that are, are there are coming your way and you're manifesting them right now so this is what I'm getting now I might have to do with an attraction with someone because I do get the two of cups cancer Scorpio Pisces uh, and so and and what I'm getting here is uh, I get a lot of fire energy water energy and I get uh, yeah, I get air okay so that's what I'm getting now um, that's what I get in terms of uh, your, your current situation now what I get in terms of um, you know, what? You, how can you manifest and bring it into beam? Um, I do get the four of stars, okay? So this is focusing on your stability and security. Focuses on getting grounded, your stability and security so you feel solid, okay? And that's earth energy, so that's you, all right? Um, give me anything else that comes through. Let's take a look. What do we have? And sorry, guys, I just got done working out. It's, it's like about 98 degrees here. It's so hot. <laughs> it's been crazy. So uh, um, anyway, in any event... Um, not complaining, just uh, letting you know. <laughs> if you see sweat dripping from you, you know what it is, all right? Um, in any event, I get um, the nine of swords. So getting out of the head. Focusing on your stability and getting out of the head is coming to fruition. So whatever's been in your head that you've been obsessing on, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you're actually getting out of it. It's coming to fruition. And I get the three of stars. This is all about reaching some sort of teamwork and collaboration with others. So maybe that you're focusing on teamwork and collaboration with others. And, and that's what's going to help you manifest your dreams, you know, working together with others. So working together with others, focusing in on camaraderie, um, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, right? So there you go. And, and that's what's coming through here. So that's like how you can manifest your dream and bring it into being. It also wants you to use your own instincts with this high priestess energy. Now she's also, yes, there are secrets that she harbors that she keeps, but at the same time, there's also a sense of expression that comes from this too. So it could be expressing uh, something. Maybe you are expressing this in some sort of way, instincts to harness, uh, you know, to make dreams come true. So it's having a keen sense of perception during this time as well. Uh, any uh, Anything else that might want to come through? Any other uh, advice in terms of how you can manifest your dream and bring it into being? What do we get? What do we get? Oh my gosh. I explore my wildness and dance in pleasure. Another sign got this, guys. You're going to have to check it out, okay? So uh, this is living. This is, uh, you know, playfulness. This is uh, exploring that 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 uh, beautiful wild side and, and dancing and enjoying life, guys. I got to pull another card because it was the same as another sign. Um, I'm connected to the earth and life all around me. Just like that, guys. Exactly that. You're, you're, you're connected to earth and all life around you. And I think you're just having fun in life. And a lot of us fail to do that because we're so many times stuck on a person, place, or thing that we don't stop for a moment and take a look at nature and then just and tap into that wild side of us and enjoy it. And so I think this is a part, uh, you know, in terms of how to manifest what you want, it wants you to live life and have fun, all right? Uh, any other guidance that uh, may want to come through? Uh, let's take a look. We'll pull these cards. Anything else that wants to come through for Taurus? What do we get? Uh, what do we get here? Yeah, this is about we've weathered enough challenges at this point. You've gone through weathering challenges, and um, you know, and 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 uh, now it's going to bring you to a brand new positive future. It's like I think you've had gone through your thorns to get to the stability that you have right now, and now you're ready to bring in the new and the positive into the future. Okay, so. This is very, very key, all right? Let's take a look at what it is that uh, the hidden emotions that are being illuminated. Now, the hidden emotions are in the head. There's some sort of conflict in the head 
uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? What else? Uh, and the Eight of Swords, all right? This is about seeing something from a different perspective. Seeing a conflict from a different perspective is being asked of you, all right? So uh, in your head, you're being asked to think differently, all right? And then I get the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is all about movement. So I think you've recognized something, right? Uh, that a way of thinking that perhaps injured you is not the best way of thinking in the mind. You've observed that, and now this is travel, change, and movement. You're moving away from that. So travel, change, and movement. And what else do I get? Yeah, and you're balancing that out, Libra energy. So now you're balancing that thing out in the mind, whatever it might be. And you know what that is for you, okay? Uh, we'll pull a few cards to see if anything comes out that is going to be important, uh, uh, that might resonate with you, Taurus. Uh, either of these might just resonate. Um, uh, and we'll find out what this is. It could be that, um, you know, indirect communication uh, and that, uh, you know, is avoidance and it's unhealthy communication. So for some of you, it might have to do with communication, okay? The other thing that came out was um, uh, defensiveness. It's about why not hear other people's perspectives, all right, um, and their feelings, all right, and um, shift your focus on them uh, because we always know it's not always about us. It's, it's, it's about, you know, listening and, and, and hearing other people out and not being defensive. Now, that might not be for everyone, but those are the two things that kind of came out, uh, you know, on your side here, okay? So, uh, any advice in terms of, um, you know, uh, the hidden emotions that uh, are being illuminated? Um, I don't know, I get a sense of defensiveness or avoidance uh, in, in communication, unhealthy communication, affecting emotions. Um, that's what I'm getting. You guys are going to know what that is for you. And what do I get? Beauty raises my vibration. I seek it out for healing and joy. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, the best place to find is with Mother Nature, too. You know, getting out and exploring. But beauty raises my vibration. So doing things that make you feel great, that, that make you feel beautiful, Taurus, you know. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, treating yourself like an emperor or empress, you know, that's key. Uh, and you seek out healing and you seek out joy in that, all right. Now, the next card that I get is what are you trying to escape? And I get here with the six of wands. Now, sixes are about growth. Uh, this is self-confidence, all right? So, um, hmm, are you, kind, are you trying to escape taking the lead on something or being a leader? Because I, I get that, that you have gone through something that has put you on top. There's been great success. There has been a lot of progress and confidence. And there has been some sort of achievement, all right, that you've achieved. And there's a sense of completion about that. Uh, the world card, okay? So um, what you're trying to escape uh, is, a, is a transformation that's taking place, right? Sometimes we want to hold on to the new because it's familiar, but this is all about, you know, death and rebirth, scorpionic energy. So I feel that, you know, this is all about expanding, okay? Expanding, uh, uh, you know, coming to an end of a cycle and starting new, which means, obviously, when you start something new, one door closes and another opens, right? So you're not straddling that energy. So something comes to an end because you have the world card. There's a sense of a successful completion. And then I get the four of swords. You're getting the rest that you need at this moment before moving forward. Uh, 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 Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then I get the ace of cups. Uh, and this is moving forward with intimacy and compassion. So moving forward with compassion. You're ending in a cycle moving forward. And you're being compassionate with yourself, but also compassionate uh, with those around you. There could be a new person that you meet, all right? There's a new opportunity and a new cycle starting. And expect some travel change and movement. You might be traveling or things are now moving. So as you ended a cycle, now things can move, all right? And they're going to move fast and it's going to make you feel really good, okay? So in terms of what you're trying to escape, this is about um, an ending. You don't want to see something end, all right? Uh, what is uh, Spirit's advice for you here uh, on this? What do we get? What do we get? Dragonfly. You know what? It, it's saying, have the confidence. Have this confidence. It showed up here. Your, your confidence shows up, um, you know, uh, with the six of wands. That's a confidence, growth, success on top of the mountain. Well, this card that came out was dragonfly which means to have confidence in this transformation this is saying is that 
um, you know, have confidence during this time of, of great healing and joy that you've experienced here because there's a renewal and a really strong connection with spirit right now, okay? So that's what wants to come through. That's the message that I get right there. Now, in terms of what your intuition is trying to tell you, uh, this is to be in gratitude for where you're at. I know that we always like to reach for something better, but we very seldom and a lot of times we have to be reminded to stop and, and smell the roses in our own backyard and, and where we're at and be grateful for the little things that we have uh, to bring more joy to us and to make this reach so much easier for yourself. It's focusing in on what you already have, being in gratitude, in abundance, uh, and, and um, yeah, it's what I'm getting. And in prosperity, uh, I get, uh, I miss what I'm getting here as well. Uh, anything else that comes through about, uh, you know, your intuition is trying to tell you, be in gratitude and queen of swords. Use that keen sense of perception that you have. You're a quick thinker. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And um, then I get the seven of swords. Yeah, you're able to have that keen sense of perception to overcome any deception. You're going to see it, guys. So if you're afraid of anything of the sort, um, this is saying, no, the four of wands is you've got, this is about creating balance, harmony in marriage. Um, this is uh, creating balance in the home, um, you know, as well. Uh, anything else that comes through, what do we get? This same card, deception and the, the, the swords. It's like, you know how to create balance because you, you recognize you've got a keen sense of perception right now and uh, to bring balance, harmony and joy and after, you know, and you're having, you, you, you can, oh, you can see, you can kind of see the deception, uh, you know, coming towards you. Uh, so this is about a rebirth. You already can see what this looks like. You've been there. You know what that looks like. So you, you have too much of a keen perception with the queen of uh, swords. And there's a birthing of something new, a new project, a new beginning, new energy, using the feminine energy, communication of a new beginning. What spirit's advice for you here on, you know, what you, what your intuition is trying to tell you? It's trying to tell you to start anew. Your rebirth is here. Quit look, focusing on deception. Move forward. You can get this. Yeah, see, the gateway is open. The pathway is clear. Your journey begins. This is what I'm getting. Yep. Oh, how beautiful, guys. And at the very end here, what do you need to release in order to dream big? Now, you could be doing the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Okay. So it's kind of like letting go, uh, if, you know, come what may. All right. What else do I get? Give me more. What do I get? Getting rid of the illusion and fantasy regarding the King of Swords. Okay. Uh, or being stuck in the mind, the illusion and fantasy in the mind and clearing away the cloudedness and uh, getting out of fantasy and, and that type of thing making better choices. Yeah. And this is about an achieving bliss. Just by doing that, you achieve some sort of bliss here. This is like getting out of the old mindset. Okay. Um, is what is coming through here. Interesting. Um, there's a set of cards I'm looking for. If I find them, I'm going to pull them. Um, but okay. All right. Doesn't want me to find them. Okay. So let me just see if there's anything else that comes through here. Achieving bliss, 10 of cups. When you let go of the fantasy and illusion surrounding a connection, perhaps with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I get bliss, all right? I get bliss and I get the queen of pentacles, which is you, all right? It's, it's just focusing in on using your resources wisely. And I get the king of wands. You might have a choice between uh, someone uh, else, a visionary entrepreneur, or this is you taking on that energy. You're focused maybe perhaps on your, your visionary, your vision and your entrepreneur, your, your work that you do. But I do get two people coming together, you know, so I do get an expression of uh, emotion after you get rid of that, that, uh, that the fantasy and illusion. Uh, give me what the spirit's advice is for you here. What do we get from the moon cards? I will persist. My will is strong. So this is you moving forward on something that you want, guys. Dang. Wow. I guide and lead others wisely with love. You're coming together in love as you pursue your endeavors. Uh, and this wants you to let go of the fantasy and illusion of being in the mind, of trying, uh, of, of being just in the mind. It wants you to focus on, uh, it wants you to focus, uh, you know, on the expression of emotions of both that come together, like someone that can give you the emotions back. And what else do I get? The sun card. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. 
So you've got a lot of good coming here, guys. What's the Oracle card that is most important for you that wants to come out? Let's just take a look and see what that is. Uh, put this aside. What do we get? Ah, the power of attraction. The power of attraction, guys. This is like two people coming together, okay? It's a 13 card that reduces to a four. And fours are like all about, you know, coming together. It's almost like, I, guys, I get like the 10 of cups. You know, it's like two people coming together. There's a power of some sort of attraction that's coming together. You and another person. It brings in some sort of bliss, all right? So I don't know, guys. This is a, a you know, it could be that you're finally seeing eye to eye with someone and that the attraction helps you overcome other things as well. Um, this, is, this is so hot that this is sticking to me. Give me anything else on the power of attraction. I knew it. I was going to say this reminds me of the sun card and look what comes out right after that, the sun card. And as you all know, uh, this other card that came out was the sun as well. This is new vitality in a connection or in a situation. The attraction is very powerful. I will let you know. And once you let something go, new energy has a, has an opportunity. There's something you need to let go about that situation. Uh, and then it allows you to come together. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of like, uh, it doesn't make sense, but it does. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Note your comments, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. All right. Namaste.